You are live. All right, now we're going on to the nose inspection in the DH1. So after I've just turned on my Gen Bat Master Switch, I'm gonna reach into the plane and grab this tool located on the right hand side. First thing I'm gonna do right here, this is the oil quantity, oil filler cap and door. We're gonna remove this, turn it to the left a little bit, pull it up. I like to set this here, just put that down. We're gonna reach in, turn the oil, we would ideally, with my gloves, pull it all the way out and make sure that it's within 4.5 to 6 quarts. I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna do about a finger fingertips tightness. Secure this cap, turn it to the right. Make sure we got a checklist. Next, we're gonna check the cowling, make sure that it's securely fastened along here. That looks good. As we come down, we check the inside temperature, make sure there's nothing impeding flow. Then you wanna look down and check the um, these are called baffle seals. We want to make sure if we are operating with baffles that day, that they are in and appropriately placed. Check the exhaust to make sure that you know there's nothing impeding it or there's no huge dents or that it's going to fall off right there. Next thing we do, we move over here, look inside, check that we have the uh, that is the alternator belt. Make sure that looks good. Make sure it's clear birds or anything inside. Checking the propeller, same thing, we want to check for no damage, make sure all the screws are in on the blade, we want to make sure that there aren't huge indentations, no cracks, anything of that sort. Then we check this intake on the right, make sure same thing, no big insects, no birds. If somebody didn't leave um, a baffle when we needed it. Now we check the nose gear. So as we come down here, basically we just want to make sure that this doesn't have any cracks on it. I'm going to check for two fingers of spacing inside. The general condition of the tire, the nuts, the bolts, make sure that they're in place. Come down here. Again, make sure this is clear, that air can flow, nothing's going to intrude on it. What is that? This, this is the intake, but here we have something called the outside ambient temperature gauge. So make sure that that's checked. Again, check the cowlings on this side, last thing. And as we move down, we go into the left wing inspection. We wanna remove the chalk here from this wheel. 